and welcome to a thrilling action packed edition of Auto Today. I'm Gaurav Savant. Over the course of the next half hour, we'll get you all the biking action from across the world. On the show, we bring you the newest member from the Bonneville family, the all new T100, the ever classic cruiser Indian Scout 60, an adventurous day with the powerhouse Triumph Tiger, and the new motorcycles to look forward to in 2017. The world's fastest bike, the Indian Scout. Look at the roar of its engine. What is this beauty like? My colleague Abhik rode the Indian Scout. Now this is a bike on which a world record was set. This of course is the latest Aftar. That was in the 1960s, 294 kilometers per hour. What's the cruiser like? Let's find out. The story began in 1928 when Massachusetts, USA-based Indian motorcycles produced their first Scout. Many decades have gone by but the name still remains. What Indian calls as their most attainable motorcycle? The Indian Scout. Introducing our next chapter. The company's smallest motorcycle till date, the Scout, quickly became a hot favourite for both new and seasoned motorcyclists. But then a new Scout emerged in 2016, one that got even more affordable. If you think the Scout is expensive, Indian motorcycles have a solution for you, the Scout 60. This is a toned down version of the original Scout, so you don't get the 1130cc engine, you get a 999cc engine instead and a little lower on power as well, 78bhp versus 100bhp. But the good part is, it almost looks the same. Indian Motorcycles has kept with tradition and made the Scout 60 low. Stretched and every bit pleasing to the eye, just like a custom cruiser. The bobbed front fender, small headlight, teardrop tank, a minimal single seat and the flowing rear fender makes the Scout 60 feel properly retro. They say God is in the details and Indian motorcycle has taken note of that. The engine and frame has exquisitely machined highlights while the air filter cover bears the year when the company was set up. There are various places on the motorcycle where Indian's eye logo can be found and the attention to detail even extends to embossed branding of the company's name on the tyre. From the headlamp to the retro looking tail lamp, this motorcycle is built to the highest standards of quality. But underneath the retro looks, there's a fair bit of modernity hidden. The analog meter hides a smart digital display that reads out RPMs, engine temperature, odo and trip meters. The 999cc engine features liquid cooling and fuel injection while the brakes are aided with ABS. On a motorcycle that looks so retro and so cool, it's all about little details. Now, you're going to spend the first minute on this motorcycle trying to find where this slots in. The usual location is usually here, maybe on the side, but it's not there. Well, in true American style, it goes in right here.
The Scout 60's engine develops 75 bhp and 89 nm of torque. Although these are lower figures than the Scout, the 60 feels nearly as punchy at lower rpms and in the mid-range. Thus, naturally, it gathers momentum briskly. It does miss out on the phenomenal acceleration of the bigger engine, but it's amply quick in this form too. Being the lightest in a family of heavyweights does have its own advantages. The Scout 60 is surprisingly agile around corners with a good amount of clearance thanks to the forward set foot pegs. In traffic, the 60 impresses with its manoeuvrability. The low seat height means that you can easily reach the ground to control the motorcycle at slow speeds. And of course, to deal with the added attention on the road, agility in traffic is as good as a much lighter motorcycle. And this really inspires a lot of confidence in quickly adapting to the Scout 60. It'll take you 13.6 lakhs to enter the classic and exclusive community of Indian motorcycles. But more than the price, it is the entry point into a rich heritage of motorcycling, love for the open road and riding into sunsets. Science motorcycles are doing extremely well in the United Kingdom in continental Europe and in parts of Asia. But their aim is to be the number one premium bike brand in India. So they've relaunched their Bonneville series and auto today is Simran Rastogi. Now he took the T100 out for a spin. Let's take a look at what he found out. It's a simple formula to a motorcycle. Some might even say a classic recipe. Take two wheels, spoked of course, Attach said wheels to a simple down tube chassis and a big lump of engine. Add side covers, a pinstripe fuel tank and two-tone paint to taste. Oh, and don't forget a flat seat fit for any shape or size of rider. What you end up with is probably the most ubiquitous classic motorcycle there is. One that can fit any role you need it to play, the Triumph Bonneville. 2016 will go down as the year that the Bonnie was reinvented. Yep, Triumph reinvigorated the entire Bonneville lineup and added a model to the range too. Starting with the most affordable Street Twin, going up to the T120, and finally we have this, the T100 that slots in bang in the middle. What it is, is essentially the Street Twin 900cc, brand new engine by the way in the T120's classic Bonneville frame with the classic styling. What separates the Street Twin from this, the T100, are a whole lot of small details, but the most apparent thing would be the spoked wheels, the changed side covers, and the all retro look. And we can tell you it's already going to be a modern classic. Like we said, Triumph has different flavours of Bonneville on offer. So while the Street Twin might be their most affordable, to get the classic styling, you need to graduate up to the T100. Available in flat black or a blue-white or red-white colour combination, the two-tone colours definitely get all the looks. You also get 18 inch rims up front and slightly smaller 17 inch rims out the back for the stance we're used to seeing on a classic. Rubber gaiters on the right side up forks and the dual shocks at the rear complete the retro look of the cycle parts. Speaking of, the Bonnie is fuel injected, but its throttle bodies, proudly placed ahead of the side panels, mimic the look of carburetors. Even the radiator has been camouflaged, laid out vertically and inconspicuously just ahead of the engine. 310mm single front disc and 255mm single rear disc, gripped by Nissin two-pot calipers, don't look out of place either, even though the safety net of ABS is present. 
The feel and bite from the brakes under normal street riding is perfectly adequate. The classic round headlight gets a high level of attention to detail with the Triumph logo hiding the reflector. This quality detailing is a theme we all see over the new bonnies. Like the polished aluminium plate that feels pure quality to the touch, it holds the speedometer, tachometer and you can cycle through the display for range, trip meters and even to switch off traction control completely. The switch gear itself feels good and controls fall within reach of your thumbs without stretching. Both levers are adjustable for reach and the round retro mirrors offer adjustability making for good visibility. Both criteria that make the experience of riding a Bonnie a breeze for a lot of the born again bikers, the Bonnie range seems to attract. As a part of the Bonnie reinvention, is the brand new 900cc engine that makes its way into this, the T100. And a major reason for the upgrade was that Triumph wanted to make more usable power and torque earlier in the rev range. So while the earlier model did have slightly better power figures, this one has higher torque figures. And the first thing that you notice when you actually thumb the starter on the bike is just how good this sounds for a stock exhaust. Uh, we've come to learn that this is down to Triumph going to a 270 degree crank rotation cycle. And this gives it its really distinctive sound, even though it's a parallel twin, it can sound like a V-twin, both at idle and higher up in the rev range, it sounds really, really good. But don't take our word for it, have a listen. While the power and torque figures might not seem awe-inducing on paper, on the road, it's a different story. The strong low-end torque makes it a stronger performer than the figures suggest. Accompanying the soundtrack of classic British motorcycling is a complete lack of vibes. The first thought you'd be bound to have when you ride the T100 is of butter. Seriously, the new 900cc engine is just that smooth. Even the torque assisted clutch makes light work of gear changes. And each of the 5 speed gearboxes ratios shift with a clunk but it's the kind of smooth engineered feel the rest of the motorcycle gives you. Fueling is smooth and with the ride by wire throttle we never experience jerks going from a closed throttle to partial open like you would in traffic. However, we did feel second gear a bit too tall to handle low speed U-turns or speed breakers. Fifth gear and 100 km per hour on the highway is just at the engine's sweet spot with a lot more to offer as all day cruising speeds. Though, a six cog in the gearbox would be welcome for more relaxed highway stints. The low speed ride is plush and the longer wheelbase of 1450mm over the more affordable street twin makes a difference. While the Bonneville isn't meant as a road attack motorcycle, you can approach a corner with the confidence that you'll make it through and look good doing it. Severe lean angles are limited by the pegs but then again, finding those limits would take a really adventurous spirit. In the end, the Bonneville T100 will appeal to those looking for a premium, relaxed and comfortable motorcycle to live with every day. In the Bonnie range, the most affordable street twin is a more urgent and agile feeling motorcycle, while the larger 1200cc engine T120 has longer legs on the highway and a few extra features like dual disc brakes, the T100 strikes a happy compromise and at a price of Rs. 7.78 lakh makes a strong case for itself. It is said you ride a tiger, you end up in the tiger's belly. But is that actually true? 
ऑटो टूडेज अभिक ही रोड अ टाइगर अफकोर्स द टू व्हील वर्जन डिड ही एंड अप इन द बेली और डिड ही कम आउट ऑन टॉप लेट्स फाइंड आउट The buzzing metropolis that the NCR has now become leaves little to discover. Although rarely does one stray from the tarmac in search of hinterland. But if you decide to embark on a big overland adventure, a Triumph Tiger will surely feature as a weapon of choice. Big adventure motorcycles need certain key skills to master riding them through different landscapes. After all, not always will you have tarmac for your company. This is where Triumph's Tiger Training Academy comes in. One fine Sunday, we found ourselves back in the classroom. Seasoned rallyist Vijay Parman was the teacher for the day, and the man behind the raid the Himalaya. one of the toughest rallies to be held yearly in india with the theoretical sessions done with we headed to the motorcycles it was time for practical lessons an essential practice for better control over a large bike off the road When off road being as slow as possible and as fast as necessary is the mantra As exciting as it may be to jump a motorcycle over a crest while traversing through unknown territory it may be a mistake that you'd want to avoid Shifting the body weight in front of an incline and moving it rearward for declines will ensure optimal traction to the front and rear wheels. And remember, slow and steady is the key than fast and clumsy. The same principle applies while negotiating trenches. Only this time we had to negotiate a 90 degree right turn too. Of course there were falls but the joys of it is to dust yourself off and get back on the bike to do a try. But preventing a fall is also part of the training program on this long and steep incline. It would be natural for a rider to be worried about stalling the motorcycle. In this exercise, we deliberately stalled the bike on the steepest part of the incline and then used engine compression to regulate our speed backward to flatter ground. Slow clutch, pulls and a little rest to gain traction. Reach the base and start again. As the day progressed, the inclines got steeper and gradients scarier. But in the end, everyone emerged as better rider. So if you own a Triumph Tiger, you know where you should be headed then. When you get down to talking about motorcycles, clearly one is not enough. What's there to look forward to in 2017? Before we go, Let's show you the top 5 motorcycles to look forward to. It'll be raining new motorcycles in 2017 and we already have our top 5 bikes that we're eagerly waiting for. The reigning king of the segment gets a makeover for 2017. The already sharp styling gets even sharper with cues borrowed from the bigger 1290 Super Duke R. Mechanically, 
The frame has been reworked, suspension and brakes have been revised, while the motor remains the same as before, although a little greener with Euro 4 compliance. The 2017 model will also feature a cool multicolor TFT display with an option to pair your smartphone with and it also gets LED headlights. BMW Motorrad will soon be officially entering the Indian market with their smallest capacity motorcycle yet, the G310R. Aggressive street bike styling will put it bang in the middle of competition, but that's not all that will differentiate this bike. The engine uses a reverse cylinder design to center the weight balance, thus helping in making the bike more compact. The G310R will be powered by a 313cc engine, producing 34 bhp and 28 lm of torque. What's more is that TVS will be manufacturing the motorcycle in India, so expect it to be very competitively priced. The Green Mean Engineers at Kawasaki created their version of the Mini ADV with the Ninja 300's 296cc 8-valve parallel twin motor. The frame is new, specifically keeping the stresses from unpaved roads and trails. Suspension is equipped with enough travel for its purpose with spoke wheels sized 19-inch and 17-inch are suspended at the front and rear. The styling is reminiscent of the KLR series but the Versus 300X brings modernity in the form of anadigi meters and ABS. Ducati's Duvetol Multistrada has just become smaller and more accessible with the 937cc engine from the Hypermotard. This engine develops 113 bhp and 96 nm of peak power and is lighter to attract more riders who shy away from the heavier Multistrada 1200. Even the high street can be lowered by 20 mm for better accessibility. If you are a fan of retro motorcycles, then Triumph has the most extensive Bonneville range to lust for. A new motorcycle will be joining the iconic family, the Street Scrambler. Power comes from the Bonneville Street Twin with the 900cc parallel twin motor, while wider aluminium bars, tie burn exhaust pipes and 19-inch front wheel are among other additions for it to offer the joy of riding off-road. Well, that is all we have time for in this Auto Today Motorcycle Special. Hope you enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. But that is all we have time for. Keep watching Auto Today. Drive safe, ride safe and always wear protective gear. Yeah. Yeah.